So this is a quick review of Moultrie's 30 gallon hopper feeder. Uh, again, this is a relatively old model. They come in a couple of different versions, but this is their 30 gallon hopper. And what's unique about this is the fact that with Moultrie's secure quick lock system, you can replace the feeder kits, which we've done with this one. So right now we run an NXT hunter feeder kit, which we'll get into in a second. But the overall feeder, you can see it's very durable, a little bit of wear and tear. And again, here's another walkthrough. But the overall capacity is 200 pounds. Again, not as much as the 325. That holds 325 pounds of corn. But with the legs, important to note that the feeder height is around five and a half feet to eight feet, depending on the adjustments. And what's unique about this too is Moultrie's given us some additional instructions on how long this feeder will last, which is nice to see. And we'll get into that in a second too. So here's a zoomed in version again of the wear and tear. Like anyone knows, raccoon squirrels are going to try to have their way with it. But over the past four or five years, the speeder has been pretty durable. Here's another shot of the legs. Again, this is a tripod feeder setup. You can see that at the bottom, you have anchor points at the base of the legs, and that's where you adjust the height. Once again, um, it can range from five and a half feet to eight feet, very sturdy. Um, you're not able to put this on any type of ground. It has to be somewhat even, but still a pretty wide base. Uh, I've never personally had it knocked over. Um, overall, very durable and again, able to hold up to 200 pounds in that 30 gallon hopper. So here's another view of it. So I wanted to do a quick video of the top of the feeder. You can see here's the wear and tear, but the feeder is a slide and lock opening system. You basically just line up these three openings to the lid and then you're able to unlock that. And here's the inside, relatively simple, a couple of drainage holes. That's where the old feeder kit used to be. Again, here's the lined up slide locking mechanisms. You just line those up on the top, find their fitting and then it slides in. You just move it over just a tad and then you're not able to pick that up. So very easy to use, pretty simple. So for a better view of the actual feeder kit, again, this is the NXT Hunter feeder kit. And as you can tell by the metal coils around the top, that's the electric varmint guard to prevent anything from getting up into your feeder. So this feeder kit feeds up to 10 times per day. It has a max dispensing time of 60 seconds. You can go from one to 60 seconds. And it's a 360 degree uh, broadcast. Um, before we go into the inside, here's just another shot um, of the plastic housing. And it's hard to tell, but here's another view of the bottom and how it's held up with just a simple wing nut that you can take on and off. But overall, here it is, and we'll dive into the inside. So it's pretty easy to take the casing off, and there's the coiled cable connecting timer, as well as the 6-volt battery. So here's a surrounding view of the timer. Again, this is where you can easily disconnect that with the coiled cable for a better view, especially during low-light conditions to help you out. Moultrie has some pretty good videos on what you can do with this. Uh, with some more detailed explanations, but this is the overall casing from the outside. So as we mentioned earlier, this is the chart that came on the inside of the original feeder kit housing. And although it does say fish feed, I think you can apply this to corn to get a pretty decent estimate about how long this particular feeder at 200 pounds will last. So what I did was I basically took this chart put it into an Excel format with some different estimates to let you know how long a feeder like this on different run times, different dispensing intervals would actually last you. So here's a quick view of that. 